I had an amazing childhood. I had a loving mother, a loving father, two wonderful sisters. I don't know how I ended up being that way. I started from a young age noticing that my tolerance for drugs and alcohol were much different from my friends. I experimented with alcohol and marijuana as a teenager and noticed that there was never enough. I started with pills, pain prescription that escalated very quickly. As a nurse, I found out that I had the access I needed to continue supporting my addiction. In the beginning, I was able to use pills. Once it was out, I was okay. I didn't have any withdrawal symptoms. But once I started using morphine and Dilaudid, it went from getting high and it being fun to needing it every day, all day. It progressed so quickly, the disease of addiction just took over my life. My lowest point was when I was escorted out of the hospital. I had been caught for diversion of narcotics. It was my rock bottom. I worked so hard to become a nurse. This was the last thing I could ever imagine myself doing. It broke my heart. I was lost. I identify myself as a nurse. I lost my license to practice nursing. There's no words. I was devastated. When I first got to First Step, I missed my family tremendously. My little girls, my husband. But I knew I needed to be there. I knew it was the right thing to do. I could be away from them for just a little bit of time and focus on me and get better, or I could die. My addiction had got to the point I could be one use away from dying and not be able to be there and watch them grow up. The counselors at First Step were amazing. I worked very hard over several years. I got my nursing license back. I'm finally able to be the wife and mother I was always meant to be. And I actually got a job back in the same area of nursing that I love. You have to put it first, your sobriety, has to be first. You reach out to other people struggling, you speak with your sponsor, you go to meetings, you do what you need to do because this life is worth it.